yeah. I don't even know what your job title means. Hi, I'm Mark Mazin, and I'm a professor of Earth System Science at University College London. Hi, I'm Joe Brand, comedian, and if people like me have to get involved, you know we're in deep shit. The climate crisis is progressing much faster than anticipated. Our models projected that we would cross the dangerous 1.5 degree threshold in the 2030s or even the 2040s. But at this rate, we're going to breach it within only a few years. Translation, we're still going to hell, but we're getting there faster. We are destabilizing our planet's climate system, which is already leading to an increase in unpredictable weather events. Potentially everyone everywhere now faces a direct threat to their way of life. Your house is on fire, but don't worry, the next flash flood should sort it out. We are heading for unknown territory if we trigger tipping points, irreversible thresholds which shift our entire ecosystem into a different state. If you like climate crisis, you're going to love climate complete fucking collapse. The overall consequences are literally inescapable. Crop failures, global food shortages, hundreds of millions of refugees. Our complex societies are at genuine risk of collapse. I'm sure in a society where people lose their shit if their delivery orders five minutes late, we will cope magnificently with global food shortages. The irony is solar and wind power are now over 10 times cheaper than oil and gas. We can still prevent much of the damage and end up in a better place for everyone. With wind and sun power, we save money and don't die. It's a pretty strong selling point. Most people actually are in favour of urgent action. The reason governments are not transitioning fast enough is because the fossil fuel industry has a grip on many politicians. In fact, governments subsidise them with our taxpayers' money over $1 trillion a year, according to the IMF. We are paying a bunch of rich dudes $1 trillion a year to fuck up our future. I'd do it for that money. When can I start? We all need to show up now before more irreversible damage is done. Start by speaking up against new oil and gas licensing, which is the last thing we need. Protesting doesn't work, except for the suffragettes and civil rights and gay rights and the right to weekends, I think. So let's go, boys and girls. What did you think of my translation? I thought it was great. How bad is it really? I mean, that you would never tell me this, but are, are people exaggerating it a bit to make it seem worse than it is? We don't exaggerate. We don't need to. London, OK? We hit 40 degrees in July. So that heat wave was 16 degrees warmer than it should have been. So I would say most scientists are incredibly concerned and many of them actually suffer from climate anxiety, just like normal people do. OK. How do you think this is all going to end? Things are moving. I know this sounds very really strange when it's all doom and gloom, but the amount of solar and wind is exponential in its growth. We are, the whole economy is changing. China plants more wind turbines than the rest of the world put together. So there's lots of positive things. And there's a brilliant book by Simon Sharp who says, we're doing great stuff, but we have to do everything, and I mean everything, five times faster. I've read that. I haven't really. <laughs>